So far this year, we have covered a few hazardous material spills from East Palestine, Ohio, to here at home in South Central PA. But who responds to these incidents and how do you get them to clean them up? In this case, Tyler. But <laughs> in this edition of Tyler Tries It, Fox 43's Tyler Hatfield heads over to York County Emergency Services in Spring Gatesbury Township to learn what it takes to be part of the hazmat team. Which way? It's like a blur. Your instinct and your training kicks in because you need to make split second decisions. To get that training, I went to York County Emergency Services to learn how to be a part of their hazmat team. You're put in high risk situations, so you want to be motivated to be at the best of your game. Hazmat teams detect, contain, and remove any release of a hazardous substance. And the team here in York County says these high risk situations are becoming more common. Rail accidents, tractor trailer accidents are more prevalent. With that, we need to know how to be able to take care of the spills and protect the environment and protect the citizens. To get a feel for the job, Chief Dan Santuam had me suit up. And then now you're going to do your waist straps. If somebody wants to turn his air cylinder on, you're going to hear a beep. And that bell means that you're on air now. Push your hands all the way through. How you feeling? Good. This thing is a lot heavier than I thought. It is. It is. All right. So now we're going to put your boots on. Are you okay with putting the mask on? Yeah. Okay. Breathe. Okay. There you go. Now you're on it. <laughs> Just breathe normal. It's hot. The humidity goes through the roof. Once the suit was on, <laughs> we got a first-hand look at a chlorine gas leak. We're going to inspect the tank and see if we can locate the leak. So spray around the bottom here. And try and put what's called a bonnet on top of it to stop the leak and uh, mitigate the, the spill. Mm -hmm. All right, chain's on. Okay. Hazmat teams are exposed to several chemicals and substances while on the job. Once you're done, we're going to send you through a line, decon line. And their day isn't finished until going through the decontamination process. Step in. Put your hands up. Turn. Someone's also going to be spraying you off. You're going to make sure that we're, you're clean and that once you take your suit off, you're not going to have any contaminants on your body. The job may appear to be physical. But it takes a lot of brain power to manage hazardous materials. This kind of is something where you really have to be able to use your mind more and be able to problem solve. The best part of working for Hazmat? The team? We work together, we go out to lunch, we do everything together. It's, it's a really tight-knit kind of group. And never knowing what your next challenge will be. The fact that no two days are ever the same, that's the best part of it. Tyler Hatfield. <laughs> Fox 43 News. And if you're interested in joining the hazmat team, York County Emergency Management is holding a free hazardous material technicians course later this month. For more information, just head to our website, fox43.com. I think it's a good look for Tyler. Yeah, it's, so, it's yeah. so interesting because we know what the response is when they show up there, but you don't think about what they have to do after to make sure mm -hmm. that they're safe. Mm -hmm. And the cleanup of the cleanup crew. Yeah. 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 And Very based off of what Tyler did, I think he already has the job. So. Yeah, yes. I also love how they have a training suit only. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't just, take this one. It, that thing fogged up, and I started thinking about working through that. I mean, 